The end update has been by far the most heavily requested Minecraft update ever since Caves and Cliffs. And yet, since 1.9, we still haven't gotten one. This of course begs the question, why? Well, Mojang does have a reason, but it's not a very good one. And in this video, I'm going to be debunking it and proving why it isn't a good reason. So, stick around if you want to see that. Mojang's supposed reason for not updating the end in such a long time is, put most simply, that no one really goes there. Only a small fraction of the player base ever breach it. But this is actually a terrible excuse. To explain that, we first need to go over the three main reasons why so few people go to the end. Reason number one is, and it's going to be important later, the Elytra. This being really the only unique reward that you can get from the end. At least unique functional reward. There is a remarkably large portion of the Minecraft player base that dislikes the Elytra. The reason why is pretty obvious. It basically completely obsoletes every other form of transportation. Once you make a gunpowder and sugarcane farm, you can just get infinite rockets, and you have no reason to ever use any other type of travel. Horses become near pointless to use, railroads become even more useless, and even iceboat highways become a lot less practical to use. A lot of people believe that the Elytra is far too overpowered for how easy it is to get which becomes a lot more combined with the next point. Reason number two is the end is practically empty. Why would anyone want to go to a dimension that's just a bunch of floating rocks in space and filled with just Endermen for wildlife, a mob that already spawns in the other dimensions anyway? The only real incentive is the end cities, and with it, the Elytra, that so many players already dislike. You start to much more clearly see the problem here. If you're making a game, and you make an area at the end of it that you have to go through a lot of challenges to get, you make it the most difficult spot to get to in the game, and then you make it also the most empty and the least interesting part of the game, of course no one is going to feel the need to go there. Especially if the only real reward is an item that a lot of the player base hates. And the sort of ridiculous thing here is that an end update could for the most part solve this issue. People took a lot more interest in the nether after the nether update, when it was transformed from a basically lifeless place to a thriving ecosystem. The end is a bit different, of course, but something like this could very easily be replicated. The more content is put into a part of the game, the more incentive the player will have to go there. And then we have reason number three. The end is, well, the end. You can of course keep playing the game afterward, but there's nothing that really comes after it. It is quite literally dubbed as the end of the game, and developers say there's still more you can do afterward and more adventures to go on. But that's not entirely true. There are no adventures that come after the end. There are things that come before it that you can choose to do after the end, but there's nothing specifically integrated to come after the end which isn't necessarily a problem entirely, but for some players, typically the more extrinsically motivated, it kind of deters them from going to the end. This is something that I've seen happen in multiplayer worlds, people avoiding the end for as long as possible just because of that feeling that it connotes, and then after they do go to the end, they're left with that feeling of emptiness, knowing that there was nothing made to specifically come after, and that there will never be anything better than the Elytra. And this feeling of being empty inside is definitely not helped by how empty the end is. 
it's a bad way to end, in quotations, the game. It is probably my biggest gripe with Minecraft's progression, and it might seem impossible to fix this feeling, but I do actually have a solution that I cover in my video of the plan to fix Minecraft's progression that, yes, I am still working on. Please be patient with that. It is an eight-page script currently, and I'm going to have to add more. But typically, anyway, that feeling of emptiness of completion and nothing more to do tends to lead to the players quitting the game after that. That ends the two-week Minecraft phase, because there's no more extrinsic motivation in the game for the extrinsically motivated. It's typically only the very intrinsically motivated that will keep playing far after that point, especially if they are in multiplayer. And this gets into a very modern problem within the Minecraft community of some of the intrinsically motivated telling the extrinsically motivated that it's their own fault that they can't enjoy Minecraft or beyond those two weeks. It's gotten so bad that in some cases it's near to the point of shaming. When people make a video of how to improve Minecraft for the extrinsically motivated, they get shamed for it, saying that it's their fault that Minecraft doesn't need any changes or improvement, and that it's their fault that they can't enjoy Minecraft like they used to anymore. More than anything, it's just sad to see, because Minecraft always has room to improve for the extrinsically motivated. The intrinsically motivated don't really need major updates, the motivation comes from inside of them, not from features that get added. And yet they don't want to see Mojang focus on adding features for the extrinsically motivated, as if it would somehow affect their ability to have their intrinsic motivation and build whatever they want. Even though, in reality, changing the progression wouldn't really affect that, like, at all. Besides, if you're already intrinsically motivated, having more extrinsic motivation won't hurt that in any way. And it's kind of an absurd debate, because video games are in general made to appeal to the extrinsically motivated. They also appeal to the intrinsically motivated, but the developers don't really need to do much of anything for that. It's making the game appeal more to the extrinsically motivated that actually takes a lot of effort, because the developers need to make motivations and incentives for the extrinsically motivated. And Minecraft, at the end of the day, is still a video game. It's no exception to that rule. There's no reason for Minecraft's progression to not be improved, or its combat, or any other extrinsic aspect. So, yes, Mojang could fix this feeling of emptiness that comes after the end. In fact, an end update could completely get rid of all three of these reasons that people don't go to the end, and thus, in turn, make people go to the end. I don't mean force them to, but with an end update, a lot more people would likely go to the end. Add more biomes, more structures, more items, more wildlife like Mojang did with the Nether. Maybe either slightly nerf the Elytra or the Rocket boost, and or make it a bit more difficult to get. And then, separate from an end update, implement something after the end. And no, I don't just mean another step in the progression. I mean, have the end be like a whole new beginning. I won't elaborate too heavily on that because you will see what I mean in my Fixing Minecraft's Progression video. But with all three of those issues solved, people will probably go to the end more. It will be a much more interesting place, and people will want to see it. So people not going to the end much right now is not a valid excuse for not making an end update. It's really just a straw man argument, and with that, I rest my case for this video.
production on that fixing Minecraft progression video is coming along pretty nicely, and I'm very proud of what I've come up with so far. So I hope you will enjoy it when it comes out. I have spent months making that script to make sure that it is virtually perfect. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one, or definitely that fixing the progression video. But for now, alas, goodbye.